Dr. Julia Liu is a board-certified gastroenterologist, licensed in both Canada and the United States. After completing her medical degree at the University of Toronto, Dr. Liu continued her training at the Mayo Clinic and Harvard University. Dr. Liu is an assistant professor of medicine and a staff gastroenterologist at the University of Alberta, with a research interest in endoscopic treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease. She has authored a large body of scientific articles and presented at numerous medical meetings. Hi, Dr. Liu, how are you? Thank you, I'm good. Uh, so, is it alright if I ask you some questions about GERD today? Sure. Okay, so my first question is, what is GERD? Uh, GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. What uh, the cause of uh, GERD is that the, there is a weakness or poor function of the lower esophageal sphincter, which is the flap valve between the esophagus and the stomach. And because of this poor function, uh, there is reflux of stomach content into the esophagus, and that's what gastroesophageal reflux disease okay. stands for. Uh, how, how common is this? Well, it occurs in about 5% of the population uh, will report some degree of GERD uh, on a monthly basis. Uh, however, uh, under 1% of the patients will have almost daily symptoms requiring treatment okay. of the 5%. So what are some symptoms? Uh, so symptoms of reflux disease include uh, heartburn, which is probably the most common symptoms that patients report. Uh, there are also regurgitation or reflux of liquid or gas or solids uh, uh, into the uh, esophagus as well as back of the mouth. Uh, that actually is probably the second commonest uh, symptoms reported by the patients. There are other what we call a typical or extra esophageal manifestations of reflux disease and that include uh, cough, uh, wheezing, sore throat, uh, there are also chest pains that patients that can present with. Uh, there are additional symptoms uh, that may be also attributed to reflux, um, but it's, it needs to be further tested uh, before we can conclude that they are caused by reflux. So those are the ones that, w that we call extra esophageal manifestations, so okay. atypical symptoms. Uh, if someone's experiencing these symptoms, what would you recommend that they do? We would typically recommend the patients to uh, go to see their family doctor first, to get the diagnosis that they indeed have reflux disease, and if they do have reflux disease, they should be treated. Uh, fortunately, we have excellent treatment for gastroesophageal reflux disease, and uh, the medical treatments uh, nowadays are uh, mostly consisting of proton pump inhibitors, which are very potent drugs that reduce gastric acid secretion. Uh, there are also lifestyle modifications that have been shown to be effective for patients with, re with reflux disease, uh, and these include weight reduction, which uh, have been shown to even a small amount of weight reduction can lead to significant reduction in their reflux symptoms. Uh, there is also smoking cessation, uh, as well as uh, <coughs> elevating head of the bed, I try not to eat uh, for three to four hours before bedtime. Uh, we also advise patients to have small meals, frequent meals rather than large, uh, you know, infrequent meals. And we also suggest that they take uh, less fatty foods uh, and also their exacerbating foods such as uh, orange juice, tomato related products. Uh, so those are all things patients can do themselves to try to improve their symptoms. Okay. So what are proton, proton pump inhibitors? Uh, proton pump inhibitors are a class of drugs that have been in clinical use for about 20, close to 30 years. And what they are are uh, very potent binders of acid pump secretion uh, machinery in the uh, gut, particularly in the stomach. So uh, these drugs, when the patients take them, essentially reduce the acid production of the stomach to uh, negligible, negligible amounts. So essentially patients will have a fairly neutral uh, stomach secretion. Uh, a, a neutral pH would be pH of 7, but often the patients will be able to reach uh, pH of over six or above. So that's why the proton pump inhibitors are very, very potent drugs that have been developed and in use and have cured most of the complications associated with gastroesophageal reflux disease. Okay, are there any side effects? 
Uh, there have been some side effects, particularly recently uh, in the past uh, few years, there have been reports of increased uh, community acquired pneumonia. Uh, there have been reports of possibly certain class of proton inhibitors uh, causing uh, certain drugs not being absorbed uh, and hence leading to cardiovascular or heart disease. Um, but overall these drugs are extremely safe and uh, in fact some of the drugs are even over-the-counter now uh, such as Losec are now over-the-counter in low doses because we've had such extensive experience with these drugs over the past few decades. Um, are there any other over-the-counter uh, over -the <coughs> medications? Like what do you think of antacids like Tums? Tums are actually widely used by most patients before they come to the doctors. Uh, Tums and Rolaids and those uh, over-the-counter antacid medications are very effective uh, in a majority of uh, patients with very mild reflux disease. Uh, however, patients with more severe reflux disease and, and organ damage by that we mean uh, esophagitis or inflammation in the esophagus, they will need more potent drugs such as the proton pump inhibitors. Okay. Uh, you touched on this, but what are some other long-term complications of untreated GERD? <coughs> long-term complications of uh, untreated reflux disease uh, can range from anywhere as severe as esophageal cancer, which has been shown to be related to chronic uncontrolled reflux disease, uh, to stricture formation or narrowing of the esophagus, which are often resulting resulted from uh, chronic uh, reflux esophagitis, or they can just have uh, reflux esophagitis with or without bleeding, uh, which is also <coughs> another complication of reflux disease. Um, but all of these uh, can be treated and remedied once they are treated, once the patient are um, treated with medical therapy. Okay. Well, thank you very much for answering some of my questions today. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Now, have a good afternoon. You too. Thank you.